Good evening. Defiant surfers are ignoring warnings and returning to the waters off Streaky Bay just a day after a man was attacked by a shark. John Campion is recovering in hospital after being dragged to safety by his mates. Bearing giant bite marks, John Campion's surfboard shows just how lucky he was. Blokes he was surfing with had wrapped a, you know, a tourniquet on his arm and um, tailed him up and a few other people come down and we got him on a surfboard and carried him back. The 47-year-old was then airlifted to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The bronze whaler attacked less than 100 metres offshore at Back Beach yesterday afternoon. Because it took five, six people to carry him up the beach. In some days there might only be one or two surfers, so he was lucky in that regard. Witnesses, including the victim's daughter, rushed to his aid. She got a bit emotional when once everything was all right, we're back at the ambulance. Today, despite the warnings, diehards return to the water. We all know that they're out there and uh, it's certainly in the back of your mind, these things sort of bring it home more, more so. The man who was surfing next to John at the time is too shaken to front the camera, but has told Nine News that in a few days, nothing will stop him from going back out into the water. Some locals are calling for the shark to be hunted. Well, essentially, why can't a shark be put down? It's no one's pet. Just last year, abalone diver Peter Clarkson was killed by a shark off the state's west coast. And the numbers are exploding because of the lack of effort and gillnet effort going into the water. John remains in a stable condition. In Streaky Bay, Virginia Lankerberg, Nine News.